All right, what is up guys? Super fun video today. I'm gonna be showing you every single mod I've done to the BRZ so far, and I'm gonna list all those mods in the description as well, so if you wanna pick them up for your projects, uh, it'll be super easy to find out what they are and uh, where to get them, because I know a lot of people, for whatever reason, are secretive about uh, their car builds, you know, like they don't wanna share their specs and, and all that kind of stuff, but I don't really like that kind of thing, so, uh, yeah, let's jump in. I guess we'll just start at the front and uh, go from there. Oh, but actually before we get started, started for real, uh, this is a 2018 BRZ performance pack. So it came with the factory Brembos uh, and a few other bits and pieces, most of which I ended up selling anyways because I went aftermarket for almost everything that you can change on this car. Uh, and so far this is kind of a, a stage one. You know, I know stages don't really mean anything, but for me, this is kind of the phase one of the build. Stock body, stock power for now. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to do a progress update. You know, just uh, let everyone see how the car is in its current state. And if I start doing some more crazy stuff to it, then that'll be stage two and beyond. So first up, there hasn't been too much done to the front of the car here. Uh, the first piece is gonna be this FT86 Speed Factory uh, Charge Speed Style carbon front lip. It was, I think, about $400. I really like it. The fitment is pretty good all the way around. I do have a video of the install on this piece, so if you want to check it out, you can find it on the channel. But yeah, it's really nice. All right, so next up are gonna be these wheels and tires. So the wheels are Ray's Graham Lights 57 DRs in mag blue, or I think eternal blue pearl as they're sometimes called. Um, so the size of the wheel is gonna be 18 by nine and a half, and it's a plus 38 offset. So as you can see over here, pretty much flush. I mean, you, I can barely get like a finger. Two doesn't even quite fit. That's what she said. Anyways, yeah, so 18 by nine and a half plus 38. And then the tires are Vulcan Azenis FK510s, and they are 245, 35, 18, but the next time I'm gonna go 255, 35, 18. I think 255s are probably what you wanna run. That seems like the, uh, the standard for most people running BRZs. Oh, and like I mentioned before, factory Brembos. So that's part of the performance pack. Um, so really happy I got those. It was a $1,800 option. Came with the Brembo's uh, different wheels, some 17 inch wheels, and then uh, Saks dampers, but didn't keep the wheels, sold the dampers, <laughs> but the Brembo's still, I think the Brembo's are worth probably 1,800 anyways. And then I have Project Kicks Legadura um, valve stem caps. But I mean, does anyone really care about that? I don't know. Anyways, that was the wheels. And moving on, the next mod are going to be these TRD Aero Fins. So I got them from 86 Works, and they are paint matched. Um, you can get them paint matched, I think, or maybe carbon. These are actually the OEM ones, though. Um, so it's a real OEM part that were paint matched to fit the car. And you can see that TRD nice little engraving there but I think these actually really transformed the look of the car um, yeah so these were about $400 also but I think they're well worth it so moving up the door we got the FT86 speed factory wind deflectors they're okay they kind of like have some flex in them I don't know if there's a JDM you know better brand option for these but I just wanted something to kind of contrast the silver of my car. I may actually get either the hood or roof rack wrapped eventually, but uh, yeah, they're okay. They're pretty cheap and they work. And people always ask me if they hit the, uh, the windows because the BRZ's got these frameless windows, but nah, they're good. So they're cheap, I think, what, maybe 160 bucks or something? I don't know, but yeah, they're worth it. So the rear of my car, as you can see here, has got the uh, 2017 Plus Limited spoiler, which is all right, but I'd rather have like 
Voltex wing or a Rocket Bunny V1 wing or something like that. And then it also, you know, 2017 plus tails. So that's cool. Um, the diffuser is from FT86 Speed Factory. It's the GCS rear diffuser. I don't know if you can tell, but mine's kind of crooked. Um, someone has pointed that out in a previous video, but actually the whole batch was crooked. So I got a refund on this part. And so it's, it was free. <laughs> and that's the only reason why I've left it on the car. I actually would prefer to have the Varus rear bumper, but if I was gonna do that, then I would want the Varus rear bumper, Varus side skirts, and the front bumper. And so I feel like that's a little bit much for this stage of the car. If I was gonna do that, it's like committing to a whole next step of the build. So that's why I left this crooked diffuser on. I think it looks okay anyways, but yeah. Um, and so the exhaust are the HKS Spec L with the carbon tips. So I have a video on the exhaust as well. If you wanna hear some exhaust clips, go check it out. The exhaust was about $700. Well worth it, sounds great. No drone, but you can still hear it. And I feel like that's always sort of the uh, the compromise, you know? Can I hear my exhaust or, you know, do I do I want my ears to be blown out because it's just droning all the time? So, and it looks nice. I like the uh, bigger canister style exhaust or whatever you call it, I don't know. Um, fills out the gaps in the, in the diffuser well. So yeah, really happy with the exhaust. Oh, and the car is lowered on coilovers. They are HKS Hypermax GT IV <laughs> coilovers. So basically HKS Hypermax GT. Um, so that's the Grand Touring uh, spec. There's the SP version, I think, which is more of a racy um, spring rate, but I really like them. The fitment, I think, is pretty good. Um, but yeah, doesn't ride too firmly handles well pretty much no body roll so yeah i would definitely recommend them if you're looking for kind of more of a street coilover uh they're about sixteen hundred dollars so not cheap but not as expensive as going to uh, kwv 3s or olins or something like that so definitely a really good mid-range coilover the other shout is the csg spec tain flex a so between those two I think you really won't go wrong. Got my Katsukana sticker for my Japanese name, so Sawasaki, that's my Japanese family name. If you didn't know, I'm actually half Japanese, so I'm not just like a ricer boy. And then shout out to Reggie from Night Runner, because the Night Runner FRS was probably my inspiration for building a car like this. And now let's hop in the interior. Why not? Oh man, so, oh, yep, train handle, so, Tsurikawa from JDM Tsurikawa. Um, this is actually a real one, I think, that someone, I don't know how they get them from Japan, but yeah, came from Japan, pretty cool. Um, and then I have the carbing shift knob, which actually I really like because I feel like I can shift more like this rather than on top and I just, I don't know. There's something satisfying about ripping that knob. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, nah, it is definitely a nice part and uh, high quality. And I also got the Amazon special, probably fake bride floor mats. But I also have this real bride lumbar pillow because for me, I don't know, the seats are kind of uncomfortable in the limited trim. I don't know, maybe it's just my body type, but I always had a backache uh, for the first few months of driving this car. And actually, as you can see on my driver's seat, I have this like back pillow thing because for me, the steering wheel doesn't telescope far enough because my legs are long. So I'm about six feet tall. I don't know if anyone else has this kind of problem, but if I sit close enough to the steering wheel, then it makes my back like hunch because of the wings on here. Like my shoulders are a little bit too wide. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, long story short, I got this pillow for my back and now it doesn't kill me anymore. 
cool. Okay, okay, time to open this hood. Show off all that power. Just kidding. So yeah, as I said before, uh, stock power, so nothing too crazy going on here. And yeah, it's kind of slow, but I have done a few things to it. So uh, I have the parent intake tube. So not that that does anything, but it deleted the sound tube, the like sound actuator thing that goes into the cabin. So I got rid of that and use this instead. Um, I'm planning to get a supercharger actually. So uh, I think that just the supercharger will replace the whole air box and everything anyway. So maybe I shouldn't have bought that right now. Uh, anyways, but yeah, so that's the first thing. And then I just did the Cusco strut tower bar. I feel like it's mostly just a dress up piece, but yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty nice. It's supposed to add some torsional rigidity, I guess. I don't know. And then you can see my HKS top hats poking through. So yeah, HKS Hypermax GTs. Oh, and if you're gonna go get coilovers, not all of them come with their own top hats. So some of them have to reuse the OEM top hats, which I think is kind of weird. And then you might have to buy camber plates or something to get camber adjustment. I don't know. Anyways, I think it's best to probably get ones that have aftermarket top hats. It's probably <laughs> a much easier install. But yeah, there's not much going on in the engine bay. So there's probably not much going on in uh, most BRZ engine bays. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's that's about it for that. So I think that pretty much covered everything. Uh, if there's anything on the car that you would like to know, or you have any ideas for me about what to do next, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, it's been cool to build this car. I honestly never really thought that I would own a BRZ. I was always a sort of German car guy before this, but uh, it's been a fun project, so yeah, can't wait to start phase two out of phase 100 or whatever we're gonna go up to. But yeah, that's been the tour. So thanks for coming to this tour of my 205 horsepower little car right here. It's been fun. And let me know in the comments as well uh, if you have any questions about you know where to get any of the parts on this car or you know if you have any questions for me um, you know about installing any of this stuff. Uh, it's all been pretty easy. I've done almost everything myself So yeah, definitely recommend the BRZ as a first car to mod all that kind of stuff So drop a like if you like the video and remember to subscribe if you want to see more content from me and The BRZ and some more car stuff I'm gonna be dropping videos more regularly because I've been having fun doing it and uh, Yeah, see you guys next time